Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In a moment, I'm about to show you guys a brand new vehicle. I'll talk all about the options, and if you see something you like, definitely hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. Hey guys, Jeremy Cheney here. Today showing you guys a brand new 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn. This is a crew cab. This is a V6. This is a sweet ride. All right, cool. So uh, we have our halogen lights up front. Um, you guys can tell right away just from the styling that they're halogens. We've got our chrome grill, chrome bumpers on it. We've got fog lights. Then you can see we've got the front sensors here and here. Uh, those make it a little bit easier to pull up to the garage, parking blocks, things that are in front of you. But absolutely beautiful car. This is in the brilliant black paint. Here's how we can tell it's a V6. Right here, the 1500 e-torque badge. This would say Hemi e-torque. Hemi e-torque here instead of e-torque. Uh, so it's a V6. And as we work our way around the vehicle, look at those wheels. Those are 20 inch wheels. We'll get to the bed of the truck. And you can see it's a 5.7 bed. And see how the exhaust is off to the side here? That's also a dead giveaway for this being a V6. If it's off to the side and it's not a diesel, it is a V6 on a 1500. Then we get around to the back. Got our tailgate, got a few badges on the back. Got our receiver there. This is a soft, open tailgate. So you just bring that down. See we got a, our 5.7 bed. I'm gonna put a drop in bed liner for the, uh, for the guy who's getting this one. Really good dude, uh, I've done tons of business with him, good family. And this one should be going out hopefully Monday. But very sweet looking vehicle. So Bighorn is a uh, middle of the pack truck where you're usually gonna have like your heated seats, heated steering wheel, and uh, a few other features available. Nice looking interior, so I've got gray trim here, black trim, got a uh, Power, uh, power folding mirrors. Here's our power windows, power locks, and whatnot. Let's do a quick look on the inside. We've got some nice looking seats here. There's our power adjustments for the seats. And we'll notice here we got automatic lights, a few different settings for the lights. We've got power adjustable pedals, which is great for the tall and short and middle sized people. You can move those pedals forward and backward just with this switch here, which is cool. And this steering wheel is tilt and telescope. So you just drop this down and you can bring it up and down, forward, backward, etc. It's just what's helpful. It's helpful, you guys. You know, you can get into the vehicle a little bit easier and uh, you know, drive not so close to the steering wheel. You get really comfortable. And inside, let's take a look at our steering wheel. Nice leather wrapped steering wheel. Got our RAM badge here, cruise controls here. We've got our gear limit range selector right so we can manually go through the gears here for towing something and then this is our driver's information center controls um, bluetooth controls here and the driver's information center it will allow you to cycle through this menu back here so if you want to know average fuel economy distance still empty things like that now this is B this is a v6 so um, i've driven tons of v6s uh, tons of V8s. You definitely get a few more miles per gallon in the uh, V6. I know a lot of people are like, well, with the Hemi MDS, you know, um, it gets just as good a gas mileage. Not based on what I've seen. Um, all right, and then let's get to the 8.4 touchscreen radio. This is the uh, Uconnect 5, so you get wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is cool. AM, FM, satellite radio. You get Sirius for six months for free um, when it's brand new. Then we've got our climate control system here. And you got dual zones, right? Dual zones, we can select where we want the heat or where we want the AC to go and things like that. Let's hit with seats. Seats, we can turn our heated seats on here if we want to. We've got three modes for that. We've got a high, medium, and low. Whoa, there we go. Let's turn that off. And then you've got your phones. You can pair up to seven phones, which is cool. I love pairing my phone and then actually using the map from my phone to the uh, display. Uh, just really nice that our technology is there and we can do that. Apple CarPlay is 
uh, where it's at in my opinion. And then you guys have your uh, settings that you can adjust on the vehicle here too as well. And then you'll move down here and you have your switches for your radio. And then we have our heated seats, heated steering wheel switches. And then we've got our um, switches for the HVAC. And then we have our uh, zone selector, right? So if we press this, you can see that it'll change where the heating and cooling is going to, which is kind of neat. And then down here, we have our traction control system, our tow haul, front and rear sensors on off switches. In the winter, sometimes they can get a little um, iced up or you're backing up to a trailer. That's when you'd want to turn those off, you know, so it's not beeping constantly. Then right below, you guys can see we have our switches for uh, a few different USBs. We've got a little storage spot here. We've got a spot where we can clip our phone in and keep it standing up. And then we've got this big well. It's pretty deep, actually. You can put a ton of junk in there if you want to. And then we have a power outlet, um, regular household power outlet. Great to charge your cell phones. Charges really fast. And then even down here, there's a little bit of storage. Goes back pretty far, which is kind of neat. We've got our cup holders. Here's what our key looks like. We've got uh, lock, unlock, remote start. Just press it two times. Panic. And then we can lift this up. And we have even more storage back here. And storage in here too. Tons of storage. Tons of storage. What a beautiful looking ride though. I mean, you know, just the whole flow of the vehicle is really great. We've got this really cool push button starter here and then here we have our um, we have our uh, shifter it's a dial shifter here's our four-wheel drive settings start stop technology on off switch but um, yeah I love it love these trucks very thankful that I have a great product that I like to sell there's our upper glove box and our lower glove box it's a little bit of trash in there I put it I'll get it out though I promise all right let's check out see what we got in the back a crew cap so this back seat's pretty big all right guys look at the how big this back seat is so you know if anybody's riding back here with you they're gonna be comfortable unless they're like 18 feet tall um, these seats also will fold up so you got a little bit more storage here and then you have in floor storage as well and last but certainly not least power sliding um, rear window which is cool and also has the defrosters on it which is great some people love that me I don't personally care anyway guys thank you for uh, checking out the 2022 Ram with me hope you guys enjoyed it if you did go ahead and crush the like button and destroy your phone and then also hit the subscribe just before you break your phone and have a great day guys